is a lot of these guys like living on the edge. I mean, you know that's true. Right, absolutely. And, and they're part of the risk of what makes them great. And one of my heroes, and I know he's a hero of yours, uh, a guy by the name of High, just he sent him a high. Yeah, author of Flow. Uh, Flow. Um, part of his service in this whole thing was to notice that people of great achievement access their brains in the same way addicts do. And so what becomes very important is getting people to have a sobriety or to stop the behavior. That's only part of the battle. And they also need to understand that they also have to live where they are, f they are happy and excelling at what they do. If they don't have that pursuit of excellence, they're not in that zone where they are at their best, they ain't gonna stay sober. Okay. Fantastic insight. And so what, what you're saying is that he found that the same um, process that a mm -hmm. super achiever, be it an athlete, an entrepreneur, an artist, a writer, whatever, yep. that accesses to be in that state called flow is the same pathway that an yeah. addict uses. It's just that one leads to great, wonderful things, the other leads to self-destruction yes. yep. uh, of themselves and, and maybe other yeah. people. Yeah. So um, There's a difference between focus and obsession. There's a difference between challenge and stressed out. And the stressed out is where a lot of guys go. And what they do is they get hooked on the stress of it.